Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Giselle. If you're new, please feel free to subscribe. And yeah, I'm going to try to be posting more videos now that I have time. <laughs> so, um, I asked a lot of you guys on my Instagram if you guys would be interested in seeing a Walmart haul. And a lot of you guys said yes. So, <clears throat> recently I went to Walmart, like I think two or three days ago. And I got a bunch of stuff. Like I spent like a lot of unnecessary money but it was all good because they had a lot of their makeup on sale and so that's why I felt it was you know good to like get some stuff because I really been looking for some new highlighters and just some interesting products that I always wanted to try so yeah let's get started I already put on a moisturizer and the moisturizer that I use is from Neutrogena and it's called the Hydro Boost Gel Cream for extra dry skin and I don't have, well I have, I have like combination skin because some areas of my face would be really dry and then like other ones would be like really oily. Like mostly right here it would be oily but everywhere else it's mostly like dry. And I also have really sensitive skin so that's why I wanted to try this one out. And this one is available at Walmart but I got this on Amazon for six, $16 but I believe at Walmart it's like around the same price or maybe like 14 I'm not sure. But yeah, I got it for $16 on Amazon. And I got this one because my sister actually um, recommended it to me. And so yeah, so I already have this on my face as a moisturizer. And then the next thing that I'm applying is this Laneige Sleeping Max Mask. Sorry. And if you guys have like really dry, super like dry lips or just want something that will make you look really you know, hydrated and juicy and you could even wear it by itself. It's like an everyday type of thing. I would really, really, really recommend this one. It is a little pricey. It's 20 bucks for this thing. But honestly, it's a lot. Like, it's you're not going to finish it anytime soon. Like, it has a lot of product and it's really good. So I highly recommend it. I've been using this for a while too, for years now. <sighs> okay, so anyways, that was a t off topic. But okay, so the first thing that I got is I got this ALF Por Poreless Putty Primer and this is a universal sheer and then it says with hydrating squalene 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 I don't know but it just says apply a very thin even amount to moisturize skin prior to makeup application allow to set for 30 seconds before applying foundation so I wanted to try this because I've heard a lot of good reviews about it and so I want to try it for myself to see if I like it or not. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to open the putty primer and I'm going to go ahead and apply it to my face. Ah. Okay, so it comes like this. It's pretty thin. And then it's just like the product is right there. It's really soft and like creamy. <laughs> so I don't know how much I should get. I'm just gonna try this. So I'm gonna put it mostly like on my like T zone because that's where I have the most pores. That's like the really the spot that I want to cover. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more. Sorry, my lighting is not the greatest, but <laughs> this is a. I ordered a a ring light thing, but it just hasn't came in. So, sorry. Okay, so I put it on. It was pretty good. <sighs> okay, and I didn't get. <clears throat> any like foundation or anything because I don't wear foundation but I did get this um real techniques by Sam and NIC easy one two three foundation for liquid and powder foundation so I got this brush because I really been looking for a good foundation brush and real techniques is a good brand and this one was only I believe like six dollars so I really wanted to try it out and see if it if I liked it or it worked good so it's like this. It's really soft. It's a little big, but I mean, 
Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and use my It Cosmetics CC Cream. And I, I just got this, and I honestly really love it. So if you're looking for, you know, a, like, tinted moisturizer kind of, like, you know, like, in this type of area, I would really recommend this. Because it has really good coverage, but not, like, too much. And you could also build it up, too, if you want. And it's really light. It smells, like, really good. And I just, I love it so far. So I just apply, like, two little swipes on my face. And it's pretty much good for all my, like, my whole face. Except my forehead. I have to put some more on my on my forehead. And I wanted to try with the brush because I always apply it with the beauty blender. But I feel like, you know, like the beauty blenders? Or not the beauty blenders, like, hmm. Yeah, the sponges. Like, I, I always use a Real Techniques one. I feel like it um it absorbs the product too much, so that's why I wanted to try a brush. I'm just gonna put a little bit more, like two little dots on my forehead. Okay. My forehead is like really small, so I always have to like really good in there okay so so far I I don't know what any streak is any streak streak is what is that <laughs> any streaks or anything so so far it's a thumbs up for me I like it it's really soft <sighs> okay and then the next thing I got is this flower booty Concealer taper brush. So I got this because I I just want to try putting on my concealer with a brush Like I don't know. I'm just kind of tired of using sponges. So That's why I've been buying brushes. Oh, and this one was on sale for four dollars. So that's why I got it The original price was $7.98. So, you know, you're saving like three dollars right there <clears throat> Sorry, <laughs> I'm like burped Okay, so. so it's like this. It's like has a really cute little ombre kind of thing, and it's like perfect, you know, for the under eye and stuff. So I don't usually wear concealer, but today I'm gonna put on concealer. Cause sometimes, like, if I'm going like out or something, you know, like special occasion, I will wear like a little bit of, like more coverage. And the concealer that I have is the Makeup Revolution one. And I like it. It's, it's okay. <clears throat> so I'm just going to apply a little bit just so I could try the brush out. I usually just do about like that much. Because this one has really good coverage. Sorry if I'm like blocking my face. <laughs> I'm just really trying to get in there. And really see where I'm applying this. Okay. So I'm also bringing the rest like up to like my eye a little bit more. Okay. So the next two things that I got is this Neutrogena Glow On Liquid Hi Highlighter. And I got this because, oh my god, dude. Like, when I swatched it at the at Walmart, I was like, oh my god, this is so pretty. So that's why I got it. And then I also got this Flower Beauty, um, it's a highlighting palette, I believe. 
It's Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette in Sunkissed Shimmer. And I got it because I really like the gold in here. It's really pretty. This one's really pretty as well. But yeah. So this one you can tell is like for a deeper um, skin, which is good because I'm brown. Oh, and this one was on clearance for $5, okay? And its original price is $12.98. So I'm going to use both of these right now. But I'm first going to apply a little bit of... Um, sorry, a little bit of, oh my god, I'm like spacing out, <laughs> bronzer, because my face looks all like white, and the bronzer I have is from Makeup Revolution, and this is in shade Deep Dark, yep, so this is, and I love this color because it's like a really like warm tone color, and it's really pigmented as well, so this is this bronzer is really up my alley. Another thing I should make, mention, guys, is like I'm not good at makeup for anything. I just kind of just do my makeup however. Like the way it works for me. But I want to start getting more into like doing my makeup and stuff because I don't really do my makeup anymore. You know, being in the military and all, like. You're allowed to wear makeup and stuff, but, like, since we work a lot, you know, we kind of don't, like, have time for it, and then, since I'm an engineer, I'm always, like, you know, working in really, like, hot spaces and stuff, so wearing makeup, like, to work every day is just not for me, like, you know. <laughs> But right now, since I got changed um, commands, I'm no longer working on a ship. So I have more time to actually do, like, my makeup and stuff like that. But I just get lazy. <laughs> so now I'm going to try the highlighter. And I'm going to start with the glow one first. And I think I'm going to apply this one with a sponge. I have my sponge right here, and it's from Real Techniques. And it's, like, a limited edition one, I think, because it's, like, a diamond shape. Um, so I'm just gonna, I don't know how I should do this, should I like, should I just go for it, or should I put on my head first, I don't know, you know what, maybe I'll probably use my finger, I'll put a little bit on my hand, and I kind of put out like too much already, I already know, but I'm gonna put it on my hand, and then I'm just gonna blot it on, cause I don't know how strong it is. And then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender to kind of disperse the product. Oh my god, yeah, this is really pretty. Can you see that? It is kind of really, really strong. But I like it. I love highlighters that are really, like, intense. Because I always go, like, above and beyond with the highlighters. And the reason why I was looking for, like, new highlighters is because I literally was just using the, Maybe the Maybelline Mega Glow, I think it's called. And I love that highlighter, don't get me wrong. But I just kind of, like, got tired of using it already. Like, I was like, okay, it's just time for a new, like, glow on my face because I always have the same one. And this is so pretty. Like, even by itself, it's, like, really, really pretty. I love this. And then I think I'm going to use my concealer brush to just add the remaining on my brow bone. Because I always love to put highlight there. Just a little bit. See that glow? So I'm going to go ahead and go in with this one, the center one. And then I'll swatch all of them after. You want to see it? And I have this, um, this contour brush, but I'm, I'm using it for highlight, highlight, because I don't know, just, just like, I think it's perfect for, like, the highlight. Ooh, girl, that's intense. You 
see that? Oh my god. It's so pretty though. Really pretty. Oh my god. I'm in love with this. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch all of them for you. So you wanna see how they all look. And again, this one is in Sunkissed Shimmer. So this is the, the three shades that it comes with. This one's more like a reddish tone. This is the golden one. And the top one is like a really like bronzy one. Like it looks like really cute if you put like a little bit on top of your bronzer. Like if you're into that like, you know, look. Okay, so let me just go ahead and I'm going to curl my lashes just so I don't look like all weird. Have like a full face and then like nothing else. I'm just gonna go ahead and put on a little bit of mascara and I'm gonna be using the roller lash by Benefit. And I love this mascara but I like the Tarties by Tarte better. It's like really good. This one I just feel like it's like it just it gives me length but it doesn't give me like any volume and I just I need the volume because <laughs> I don't have like I have really long lashes but I don't have full lashes so you know you can't have it all right okay so I put on some mascara and then I just put on a little bit of lip oil just so I could have you know a little something something going on Okay, so the last few items that I'm going to share is, like, stuff that I can't try on. So, the first thing that I got, I picked up is this cuticle remover from Equate. And it's, like, the brand that they have on Walmart. And I believe this was, like, a dollar, like, 98 cents, I think. And then the next few things are, like, skin skincare stuff. So, I got this cl cleansing oil from NYX. And it's the stripped off cleansing oil. And this is originally $13.97, so $14. And it was on clearance for $4. So I was like really excited when I found this. And basically it's formulated with vitamin E. And it's a cleansing oil that glides right on. For like refreshing scent or whatever. So it doesn't really say like how to use this, but I'm guessing you just put it on like on your face to like take off your makeup and stuff and then like wash it off. So and then the next thing I got is these three masks from Freeman. And this is the Neon Vibes Peel Off Mask and it's to clean your pores out. So I didn't even know it was neon. I just honestly just got it because I like the packaging. <laughs> I was like... And then I also got this Pore Cleansing Volcanic Ash Peel Off Gel Mask. And this is for men, but I got this for my husband because he, like, has really bad pores, like, around his nose area. So I um, picked that up for him. And then I got this Melting Sugar Face Mask. And it says Skin Boosters Made with Real Sugar and Rose Extract. And it's Rose Gummy Bear. So it's just a mask that you put on, and then I guess you... You just wash it off. And then I was really interested when I came across these. This is like a brand called Clean Beauty. And it's a skincare brand at Walmart. And it was I just thought like their products were really affordable for like what they claim. Like it's free from parabens, L SLSs, phosphates, and synthetic synthetic fragrance fragrances and dyes. So I thought that's why it was like, you know, really cool. So I got this Asaya face scrub because I don't exfoliate, so I want to try like exfoliating like at least once or twice a week to see how my skin reacts to it. Because you know it's good to take off the dead skin. And then I also got this Clean Beauty Vitamin C Papaya, Papaya Glow Serum. So it's like an oil for your face and I love using oils on my face. And I um I 
since I moved over here, I really haven't had one for my face. So when I saw this one, I really was like interested in it. And then I also got the Clean Beauty Rose Hip Jelly Face Cleanser. So I'm excited for this because this is jelly face cleanser and it also has rose hip and I heard that's like really good for your face. And then it tells you like everything that it has and what it's good for, like what's like it, like what it helps with your skin, right? Like what what like um how do I say it? <laughs> like the ingredients and like what it does to help improve your skin. So yeah, I'm really excited to try these out. Um I'm gonna use them. Not right now though, I wanna finish my cleanser that I have and then I'm gonna start using all these and see if I like them or not. And that's basically everything that I got. Oh, I got one more thing. This is so cute. <laughs> I got this little bear, so I give it to my husband for Valentine's Day. I just thought it was so cute. And I don't know, it's cause I'm brown. So, <laughs> so I was like, this would be so funny to give it to him. So I'm gonna give him this little bear. So cute. And yeah, apart from that, so that's everything that I got, and I spent in total, I think like $70. So, yeah, because I got like stuff that was like, like this alone was like $8. The putty was 8 I believe, and then the two cleansers were like 7 and then the oil for the face was 10 bucks. So I got some, like, some good stuff for a good price, and then I got, like, some stuff for just regular price, you know. But I, I just felt like I could have ended up paying well, like way more, you know, for all the stuff that I got. So I was so excited to get all this new stuff. And so yeah, so I don't want to keep this video too long. But basically, this was everything that I got, and I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, me trying to <laughs> be a beauty guru right here. No, but trying these new products, and yeah, so. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!